Testosterone. Testosterone is the base hormone that almost all anabolic steroids are derived from. It works by binding to androgen receptors inside muscle cells. Once bound, it activates specific genes that increase protein synthesis, the process of building new muscle fibers. At the same time, it improves nitrogen retention in the muscles, which creates a more anabolic or growth-friendly environment. Together, these actions accelerate muscle repair and growth after training. It also boosts red blood cell production, meaning more oxygen gets delivered to muscles, like upgrading your body's internal fuel pump. It is sold under names such as Testovirin, Sustanon, Enantheate, and Sipionate. Injectable forms like Testosterone Enanthate Thate and Sipionate are most common because they provide a steady release of the hormone into the bloodstream. Typical performance enhancing dosages range from 300 to 1000 mg per week, with cycles lasting 8 to 12 weeks, depending on the user's goals and experience. The effects include faster recovery, greater energy, and significant improvements in both muscle mass and strength. Testosterone also increases red blood cell production, which enhances oxygen delivery to the muscles and improves endurance. Because of these combined actions, it is equally valuable in bulking and cutting cycles. But it comes at a price. By supplying the body with external testosterone, natural testosterone production is suppressed through feedback in the hypothalamus and pituitary gland. This can lead to testicular shrinkage and long-term hormonal imbalance if post-cycle therapy is ignored. Other short-term effects include acne, aggression, and changes in libido. Prolonged abuse increases the chance of cardiovascular disease, liver stress, and infertility. Anivar. Anivar, also known as oxandrolone, is often called the mild steroid, though mild is relative when we're talking about drugs that alter hormones. It works by binding to androgen receptors in muscle tissue, stimulating protein synthesis, and preventing muscle breakdown. Unlike stronger steroids, it does not convert to estrogen, which means water retention and bloating are minimal. This makes Anivar especially effective for cutting cycles where the goal is fat loss while preserving lean muscle mass. It is taken orally, with dosages typically ranging from 20 to 80 milligrams per day. Its half-life of about 9 hours allows the active compound to stay in circulation for most of the day, supporting continuous anabolic activity. Anivar is considered user-friendly because it produces steady, moderate gains without extreme side effects, making it popular among both men and women. The benefits include enhanced muscle definition, improved strength, and a harder, more vascular appearance. Because it does not heavily suppress testosterone at lower doses, recovery after use is often easier compared to stronger steroids. Still, prolonged or high-dose use can lead to suppression, making post-cycle therapy advisable. The risks involve strain on the liver due to its oral form, as well as potential hormonal imbalances at higher doses. Some users may also experience acne or mild hair loss. Although considered mild, prolonged or excessive use can still cause serious health issues, including liver toxicity and negative impacts on cholesterol levels. Trenbolone Trenbolone is one of the most powerful anabolic steroids available. It works by strongly binding to androgen receptors far more effectively than testosterone. Once bound, it triggers protein synthesis, increases nitrogen retention, and significantly boosts the production of insulin-like growth factor 1, IGF1, a hormone critical for muscle growth. These combined actions create an environment where muscle growth and fat burning occur simultaneously, which is why Trenbolone is often described as both a bulking and cutting steroid. It is only available in injectable forms, most commonly Trenbolone acetate and Trenbolone enanthate. Dosages range from 200 to 600 mg per week, with cycles lasting 8 to 12 weeks. The acetate version acts quickly and requires more frequent injections, while the enanthate ester releases more slowly and allows for fewer injections. The benefits are extreme muscle growth, rapid increases in strength, improved nutrient efficiency, and accelerated fat loss. Trenbolone also raises red blood cell production, improving endurance and recovery. This combination makes it one of the most versatile steroids for advanced bodybuilders seeking dramatic results. The downsides are equally extreme. 
Trenbolone is highly suppressive to natural testosterone production, making post-cycle therapy absolutely necessary. Side effects include night sweats, insomnia, elevated blood pressure, and increased aggression. Long-term use can strain the kidneys, damage the cardiovascular system, and severely disrupt hormonal balance. Because of its potency and side effect profile, Trenbolone is generally recommended only for experienced users. Anadrol. Anadrol, or oxymethylone, is one of the strongest oral anabolic steroids for bulking. It works by binding to androgen receptors in muscle tissue and dramatically increasing protein synthesis and red blood cell production. The rise in red blood cells boosts oxygen delivery, which improves endurance and recovery while fueling faster muscle growth. It is taken orally with typical dosages ranging from 25 to 100 milligrams per day. Its effects appear quickly, often within the first weeks of a cycle. Because of its strong anabolic activity, anadrol is most often used during bulking cycles to maximize muscle mass in a short time frame. The benefits include rapid muscle growth, increased strength, improved recovery, and a noticeable boost in training performance. Users often report dramatic weight increases over a matter of weeks. The risks are significant due to its oral nature. Anadrol is liver toxic, so cycles are usually kept short at four to six weeks. Other side effects include water retention, acne, and heightened aggression. It also suppresses natural testosterone production, requiring post-cycle therapy after use. Prolonged misuse increases the chances of liver damage, cardiovascular strain, and hormonal dysfunction. Dianabol. Dianabol, also known as methandrostenolon, is one of the earliest and most famous anabolic steroids. It works by binding to androgen receptors in muscle cells, stimulating protein synthesis and increasing glycogen storage. This dual effect allows muscles to recover faster and perform at higher intensity, which explains the rapid gains in both size and strength. It is typically taken orally, with common dosages ranging from 20 to 50 milligrams per day. Because its half-life is only 3 to 5 hours, users often split the daily dose into multiple smaller amounts to maintain stable blood levels. Dianabol is often introduced at the start of a bulking cycle to kickstart fast muscle growth while waiting for longer-acting injectables to build up in the system. The benefits include rapid muscle mass accumulation, significant strength increases, and enhanced training endurance. Users often see visible changes within weeks, making Dianabol one of the most popular steroids for quick transformations. The risks stem from both its potency and its oral delivery. Side effects can include water retention, acne, irritability, and liver stress. Long-term or high-dose use raises the risk of cardiovascular damage and severe hormonal suppression. Because it strongly suppresses natural testosterone, post-cycle therapy is essential to help restore hormone balance after use. Winstrol. Winstrol, or stenozolol, is an anabolic steroid often used during cutting phases. It works by binding to androgen receptors in muscle tissue, stimulating protein synthesis, while simultaneously reducing the amount of sex hormone binding globulin, SHBG. Lower SHBG means more free testosterone is available in the body, which enhances the effects of both Winstrol itself and any other steroids taken alongside it. It is available in both oral and injectable forms. Typical dosages range from 20 to 50 milligrams per day, with cycles lasting 6 to 8 weeks. Because it does not cause much water retention, Winstrol is favored by athletes and bodybuilders looking for a lean, defined, and vascular appearance rather than sheer size. The benefits include preservation of lean muscle during calorie deficits, increased strength, improved muscle hardness, and enhanced vascularity. For competitors, it is often used in the final stages before a contest to achieve a sharp, ripped look. The risks include liver stress from oral use, joint pain due to reduced water in connective tissues, acne, and hair loss. Long-term misuse can lead to liver toxicity, cardiovascular problems, and suppression of natural testosterone. Post-cycle therapy is advised after use to help restore hormonal balance. Decadurabolin. Decadurabolin, also known as nandrolone decanate, 
is a long-acting injectable anabolic steroid. It works by binding to androgen receptors, stimulating protein synthesis, and increasing nitrogen retention, which directly supports muscle growth and recovery. It also raises collagen synthesis and bone mineral content, which explains its reputation for improving joint health and reducing discomfort during heavy lifting. Typical dosages range from 200 to 600 milligrams per week, with cycles lasting 10 to 12 weeks. Because of its long half-life, which is between 6 and 12 days, it releases slowly into the bloodstream and requires less frequent injections compared to faster esters. The benefits include steady, consistent gains in muscle mass, increased endurance, improved recovery, and relief of joint pain or stiffness. It is a staple in bulking cycles because it provides reliable results without extreme water retention. The risks are tied to its strong suppressive effects on natural testosterone production. Decadurabilin is infamous for causing decadic, a condition where severe suppression leads to sexual dysfunction. Other side effects can include acne, mood swings, and long-term cardiovascular strain. Because of the hormonal shutdown, post-cycle therapy is critical. Without it, recovery of natural testosterone can be slow or incomplete. Clenbuterol. Clenbuterol is not a steroid, but a stimulant that acts as a beta-2 adrenergic agonist. It works by binding to beta-2 receptors in the body, which triggers the sympathetic nervous system to increase core temperature and metabolic rate. This process, called thermogenesis, accelerates fat burning while helping preserve lean muscle tissue. It is available in both oral and injectable forms. Typical dosages range from 20 to 120 micrograms per day, often started at a low dose and gradually increased to limit side effects. Because tolerance builds quickly, users usually run it in cycles, alternating periods of use and rest. The benefits include enhanced fat loss, improved muscle definition, and mild performance enhancement due to its stimulant effects. It is commonly used during cutting cycles to complement calorie restriction and preserve muscle mass while reducing body fat. The risks stem from its stimulant properties. Common side effects include tremors, elevated heart rate, anxiety, and insomnia. Overuse increases the chance of dangerous cardiovascular problems such as arrhythmias and long-term heart strain. Although post-cycle therapy is not typically required, careful management of dosage and duration is important to reduce health risks.